man, check this out. This story, I'm telling you though, and I said this before, being in this rap business is very dangerous. It's almost like just as dangerous or more dangerous as being in the drug game or maybe just being a soldier over there at war, okay? You, like, uh, at least there's somewhat something to fight for. I'm thinking if you deployed overseas at war, but, you know, probably a lot of the stuff that these guys get killed for is for probably over nothing, okay? I'll be willing to bet, particularly in this case. So this guy's named Gerante Davis. He's 32 years old. Found dead in L.A., okay? I think they call him Tay from L.A., the rapper. Found dead in a fishing barrel out there in Malibu Beach. Now, today's Thursday, right, the 3rd, the body was found on the 30th, okay, from a maintenance worker that saw a doggone barrel floating out there uh, on, in the Pacific out there in Malibu. He went out there with a kayak and got the barrel and brought it back in to uh, shore. All right. So investigators were able to get to it on Monday and found a naked body with this man being identified. Now, the last that he was seen, according to reports, I looked at a few local news articles out there and this cat, Nino Brown, you know what I'm saying? Now, I believe that Nino Brown is the truth. He's a very credible source that he was seen by his father out playing basketball in his front yard, I guess, I guess nearby. I guess where that that's where the man lived, like somewhere like near Malibu Beach. And that's a nice beach anyway. I think it's been taken over by homeless people. But anyway, yeah. Now, uh, he was also a singer and songwriter. So this guy was multi-talented, okay? as well as rapping. So this hit and nothing against, okay, well, I'm just gonna say it like this. It's believed that this type of hit was done by the cartel, okay? And I can tell you right now, okay, I've had family members that got killed, friends that got killed uh, doing drugs or whatever, or drug debt, debt or dispute or whatever. And I gotta tell you, you know, I don't want to sound a racist or nothing like that, but don't nobody look like me, no, all right, that kill nobody and stick that stick nobody in a barrel. I hate to tell you that. I just think that there's certain things are just not cut out for certain people or ethnicities or whatever, okay? And I, you know, I respect uh, all ethnicities, all right? And hell, you can't trust everybody that look like me either, all right? So I try to be. Why I am fair and impartial on this channel, okay? And I'm gonna tell you how I know. When I was stationed in El Paso, when I was in the military, I know I tell a lot of military stories. I'm out now, okay, I've been out for 15 years. There was this dude, drug dealer, big time drug dealer, dude named Carrillo. All right, some of y'all that live, if you live in that area, Southwest Texas or whatever, okay, between Laredo or El Paso, New Mexico, you probably knew this dude, okay? back in what, the 90s, 2000s, 80s, okay? He ended up dying on the uh, on the, uh, on the operating table under the knife, okay? Because he tried to do a face transplant and it didn't, it was unsuccessful and he died, okay? But this dude was known for killing people, right? And cut people up in barrels and putting them like on, on trains and all that other stuff, okay? Through, through, uh, throughout the railroad that runs along Highway 10, in El Paso, okay? And there have been news reports of that. So I just know, okay, this is something that I know the cartel would do. He would do that type of stuff. And I've known people that knew him. I, there was a couple of ladies out there that I got to know that knew who Carrillo was and they knew him very well. In fact, I heard the story that one of uh, a lady that her sister's husband tried to steal from that guy, okay? And you know they tortured this guy with like a hot screwdriver, okay? And then he ended up having a heart attack and ended up dying, okay? But yeah, that uh, Carrillo, he was a, a big time uh, cartel boss and he did stuff like that. So that's how I know, I believe it's a cartel hit. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm just thinking, hey, whatever you did, you must have really pissed somebody off really bad. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, they won't really bother you unless you bother them. Okay? You do what you're supposed to do. I'm not saying this is the right thing to do. But like I say, you must have really pissed somebody off or didn't do what you were supposed to do or wasn't where you were supposed to be or gave them what they wanted at the time that they uh, wanted to, to get it. Okay? And it ended up costing their life. So let me know what you think about the video here. All right, I told you crime don't pay here, okay? And that you have to choose one side. Either you wanna be in, in that rap stuff, which is satanic anyway, but at least it's legal, or you wanna be, you know, you wanna be in crime or whatever, or, all right, but there's a price to pay for everything. So let me know what you think about the video, peace.